Hello guys, good morning, I'm happy you are here. I'm Rinske Dauna and today's video is going to be a bit different. I will do a pour, a winter blue base, because I'm starting a series again. It's a nine piece like I like and how I create them. But in these videos, I will start answering your questions. So I already have a big post with a lot of questions. So I picked a couple of them and answered them after this video. I will talk about my paint consistency. I will show it as well, the paint brands that I use and also how to varnish your pieces. If this was a question of yours, then check it out after this video. And of course, if you have other questions, then list them down this video below, because maybe next time I will pick your question. Also, last month I talked with you about Skillshare and that I was entering a class by Daniela Crescia. Skillshare is a community platform with a lot of creative classes on there. And this class was so inspirational for me. It's all about being creative, how to find your aha moments in your daily life and in your creative process, but also about the vulnerability that you feel if you're an artist and if you put something visual out there. Yeah, it really did something with me. So I have a link in the description. The first thousand people that enter with this link Skillshare, they get two months premium access. And after this, it will be just $10 a month. So check it out. But first, let's start pouring. I'm always excited to make these small ones. Somehow I have a big love for these eight by eight inches. So I will make the winter blue base. Let's blow that out. And let's cover the sides. I will probably uh, paint the sides later because the winter blue is a transparent color. So you see that on the, on the sides. Yeah, so maybe for the next ones I already paint the sides. I think that would be a good idea. Okay, and I'm starting with turquoise. Some ice blue, sky blue. And I will use a, a red. There drops of white and gold. Okay. And let's pour the blue around it. Like that. Torch it again because I got so many air bubbles. All right, let's start blowing the blue over the colors. And I always have my blow dryer on low. All right, and let's blow this out. I will stop here already because this lacing here is gorgeous. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. But I will torch this here in the middle to see yeah, if some gorgeous cells pop up. And they do. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> such a quickie. But this is amazing. I love this composition as well. It's so gorgeous. I really hope this lacing stays here. Yeah, so let me bring you up for a close-up and after the close-up, I will answer your questions and do a Q&A. Look at this. So yeah, it's still, again, when I use the turquoise, it's not very visual for you. Because it feels like this is, yeah, just blue with some touches of color, but there's way more color than you see on the 
video now. Yeah, very happy with this one. I will show it when it's dry on my Instagram. So I think then you really can see how it looks. Okay, well, let's get over to my Q&A. All right, guys, so it's question time. I promise you in the Winter Blue series, I will start answering your questions that you listed under my posts on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I got so many questions, so I feel like I just need to pick random and there are a lot of double questions as well so yeah let me show you first my phone uh, i definitely paint don't i probably yours looks the same so let me go to uh, to my youtube okay all right hi rinska this is by alexia hi rinska i'm a big fan Thank you. My pouring question is, how do you know how much water to add to the paint? What exactly is the consistency you look for? Okay, so I got two videos uh, in my YouTube channel. They are listed under the beginner playlist. Uh, it's my very first tutorial and uh, number 26. So you can check them out. I show there how I mix my paint and how I pick my colors but I use about 40 to 50% water with the Amsterdam brand paints and Winter and Newton. So they are kind of high pigmented. They can, uh, they respond very well with just water. I tested it out with different brands. So not all brands respond very well with them. So yeah, if you're using other brands or are unsure, then please use a binder in it. So like a flow troll, a glue or a pouring medium. But I will show you um, what the consistency is of my paint and um, how you can feel that and how it drips. So this is a great test. I do it as well in my Skype workshops to see from distance if the paint is right for the Dutch pour. So, the paint that I mix are perfect for the Dutch pour. So that's not necessarily great for other pours because for the Dutch pour it's kind of more liquid. And I try to say it's a little bit more watery than yogurt. So it's not at all water, but if you get the substance of yogurt, just normal yogurt, and then a little bit more water and yeah, mostly it's good. Okay, next up, here by Antonella. Do you use varnish to gloss your pieces? I love a video about that. All right. Well, a video about that, it's not that interesting. It would take one minute, so, but I can tell you. So what I use is spray varnish. For the small ones, I always use gloss. So from eight by eight, 12 by 12. And um, bigger than that, I use satin or semi matte so spray varnish is kind of easy. You got the bus, I got a uh, Gerstecker, it's a German brand. So I don't know if you guys can get it there, but I love that brand. It's yeah, not expensive as well, um, but you shake it very well. And then you go over to your painting, you make sure it's dust free. And then you go about 20 centimeters above the painting and start spraying the corners, the edges, and then go vertical and then horizontal. But probably on your varnish, it will say how is the best way to do it as well. So then I let it dry. It dries kind of fast because it's not a thick layer. And then in a couple of hours or a day after, I varnish the second coat. But something important, so what I always do is I wait about two to three weeks before I varnish my pieces. And why do I do that is because with acrylic pouring, you know, when you think your painting is dry, it's probably touch dry, you know, the, the top surface is dry. But under that, it's it might still be drying. So yeah, I always make sure it's fully dried in. So the seal is perfect and won't mix with the particles of the paint, you know? Okay. Next, I just pick. Uh, good morning, Rinske. I love your work. You're very inspirational. Well, yes. Oh, that was such a weird reaction. Well, yes. Well, yes. Well, thank you. Okay. I, 
I want to know if you have days where your pores are all terrible and you end up scraping the paint off the canvas. Yeah guys, I said canvas this time. Not canvas, I said canvas. Okay, <laughs> I'm having fun in my own here. Uh, yes, I do have that a lot. Uh, so let me tell you about last week. I did about seven paintings. I all scraped them. I didn't like them at all. But I do store my uh, scrape off paint because most of the time it turns out a gray color. But then I can yeah, touch this color with some blue or some red, you know, to make it a dark, interesting color for bases. So I don't waste it. But yeah, I, I, I am kind of a perfectionist, I think, when it comes to pouring. And that's maybe sometimes kind of hard because you always have the element of surprise there. Um, but yeah, I do. And I do have a lot of footage as well on my camera that I never showed you guys because I'm just not fully content with what I made there. And I don't want to show it but it might be good to show it once in a while so i know that but i do have some of those videos that i failed or it didn't work out how i liked okay so these were the questions of today's video you can still list them under the thread that i have on my youtube channel and on facebook and instagram um yeah so next video of the winter blue series i will start answering more questions I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope this was very helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You can click on the notification bell as well and I love to see you next time. Bye guys.